Y'all ready to take two? Take two. Second episode? Second episode. Second episode. Well, do you is... think Mopar is dead? Nope. Mopar dead? Yeah, nope. that's what. Mopar is just starting. Right? <laughs> it's just starting. We about, to, we about to get real active. Yeah. Yeah, it's just starting. I'm going to tell you why I think it's really just starting. And the reason why is when you're taking, you, I've been in the car business for a long time. When you start getting a particular, they would say American cars, this, American cars, that, da 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 da. But now you got American cars that is in more high demand than a, a Mercedes, a BMW, a Lexus. America is taking over with their, with their cars. And a Mopar vehicle to have that much power in an old school established name, like Charger, Challenger, Cherokee, that's an old school established name of vehicles. Now you got these cars that are in high demand like this and these values in these vehicles. Before, it used to do like this. Appreciation go down, the vibe. Now everything is evening out on these Mopars. So the people who got them, they're gonna hold on to them. The values increase, and it's going. I think it's redefining the whole Mopar scene. Redefining. I agree. Yeah. What you gotta say about it? But nah, like you said, it's just how the market is right now. Everybody and their mama, their sister, their nephews and nieces and cousins want a Mopar vehicle. So if you got one, you are trying to keep it close to your chest, cause I mean it's not gonna be that many of them out there. So. I mean, you, me. you think about it, two years ago when everybody was trying to get, you know, wild body scat packs, the price form was the same price you'll get for RT right now. Wild body scats is like hard to find. Anywhere you go, you can't find scats. So my thing is, where can you go and buy? You can go buy that car right there, right now. Turn around, come back, and make 15 to grand. That was unheard of. Unheard of. The supply and demand. It's in, it's in the market. That's like, you know, I'm old school. I'm gonna tell you how, how I think things. They're like, there's not a lot of good women out there. So when you get one, you hold on to it. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. Ain't a lot of good ones. Like, we get one, hold on to it, treat it right. It's forever. Before, about Mopar, like, man, you 10 for your grand flip, da da da. It ain't gonna get you a good car. It's like a good one, man. So what's the thing about the electric? The electric. Our gener this generation now, it's used to these muscle cars, motors, engine, gas, fuel, that type of stuff. You can't take somebody who used to, like for example, I'm gonna go with my new. So if you take and you look at when I first got my driver's license, when I was 16, back in. I'm trying to, try to right, estimate it. <laughs> but anyway, you didn't have backup cameras. You had to take in basically Put your arm over there. This is how they taught you how to drive. Put your arm on, on the seat beside you. Look back and turn. Now, people get in the car, they put it in reverse. They're looking at a camera and backing up. I still turn around and look, even though I got a backup camera. So, how you gonna take engine power and fuel and now say, oh no, you gotta go electric. People are gonna be stuck in their ways. My generation, our generation is gonna be stuck in actual gas motors. These electric things sound real cute, this, 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 this. But that ain't what you was raised on. That ain't what you know. So it's a, a future thing. Our children are gonna be into that electric stuff heavy. But this generation right here, we want real motors. The value will go up. Tell me if you find a, a 60 or a 70 Super B. That thing worth two, three hundred thousand running through Barry Jackson auctions. Two, three, four hundred thousand car. That car was 40, 50 grand brand new. It a quadruple in price because people want old muscle. These are old school muscle cars with a little bit more technology. That's all. 
What about you, Smooth? Hey man, he, he didn't stole the words out of my mouth, so I can't really say too You much. had time to be back here to practice. Hey, no, nah, I'm gonna say he well he's on he he's on to something, you know. Uh-huh. But yeah, definitely like you used to like like him turn around. I still do that too, and I'm not that far away from him, you know, but still like it's it's just how everything is playing out right now. I don't think they might go electric, but they're gonna see like not a lot of people are gonna try to jump on electric. Especially because it's gonna be the first time they're coming out. So you gotta think about all the, the maintenance that you gotta get done. You gotta get it, you know, a lot of people like doing stuff hands on. So you basically gonna be sitting on YouTube all day trying to, how I change my oil, how I do this, how I do that on an electric vehicle. Not a lot of people know, everybody was growing up on changing their oil, looking at how to fix things. It's, you know, it's gonna be a little rough patch. So, but I don't think it's gonna be, not a lot of people gonna jump on electric. It's gonna take a while. It's, it's gonna take a while, man. Yeah. And you know, I'm just happy to be here, man. Just happy to be here. Jailbreak. What you think about the jailbreak? Ooh, jailbreak 807. You get to customize it how you want. If you're trying to pay to play, rock out. He said he already got his Hellcat. Hey, listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. And I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sound like somebody dead. Somebody on whatever, whatever. Y'all call him how you want to. I'll be 44 the 22nd of this month. You know what I'm saying? How fast can you go? That's the question you need to ask. How fast can you go? You're in the United States. How fast can you go? You can't run around here doing 150, 160 all day, every day. There's no way to really do that. And the people who are doing it, if they ain't wrecking, they dead going doing this, they doing that. You know, it's, it's, it, 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 they're going to feed you as much as you will eat. They will come out with the jailbreak. Then next you know, they're coming out with something else. Oh, it's always gonna be something bigger and better. This is like a cell phone. There was an iPhone one one time. We on 13. It's each to his own, man. Each to his own. I'm blessed to just have a Hellcat. Thank you. Hey, that's nice. You know? I'm blessed to have a scat pad. I'm blessed to have And a nice looking one. <laughs> that one right now? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it drive off of onion juice. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> So man, I got I got RT chargers, I got RT challengers, I got trucks. Inventory is coming back in for us. I don't know, I can't speak for any other Dodge dealership, but I know, as you can see, you can pan around. I got nothing but chargers. Um, we just got uh, some some cars in uh, today, so I got two challenger scat packs. Um, I got some V6, even people that want V6s and whatnot. So we can definitely make that happen, but. We definitely get inventory back in for us. So y'all already know, man. Y'all want that? That Hellcat, that Scat Pack, that V6. Anything you want. Why you, he doing something behind him? Hey. <laughs> why y'all had, had to do something on the V6 part? Huh? What, why y'all had to do something on the V6 part? Nah, well, nah, he, V6, hey, we, we both part, no car. Well, he just doing some behind the scenes joke. Listen, listen, my name Bennett. <laughs> I ain't <in> it. <laughs> but yeah, man, we got trucks. We got we got some trucks coming in. We got a lot of stuff coming in. Now all of these over here is brand new, right? Brand new, brand new. And y'all know, y'all want the best price, the best deal. Where they come to, Slime? Smooth, smooth Henny. Hey, you gotta call and ask for Sam. Call, ask for Sam. Call, ask for Smooth, Smooth Henny. Ask for for your brother, your sister, your nephew, your nieces, your cousin, everybody you know. Tell them come to Milwaukee. I make it happen. I make it do what it do, baby. <laughs> but hey, if they want a Mercedes though, you know. Oh, man, come see me, man. Guess what, I got that Highline. High Hey, line. you still got that G-Wagon over there? But I got the Ice Blue G-Wagon on the oh lot. And you know, I took it home. I was told to take it back. <laughs> I wanted it. I really wanted it. I really, I ordered, I built that car. And um, they sell it for way more than what I was going to buy it for, but the, the market is really in demand. Those vehicles are going anywhere from around two and a half to three hundred thousand, with a winner stick of one hundred and sixty thousand. And the thing about it, most people are financing it. Banks are giving them all the money. Some people are paying cash for. I ask them to hire. But other than that, you know, highline vehicles always going to be there for you. Man. But like I said, right now you're in a Fayetteville area, anywhere in North Carolina. Come see this man smooth him, man. The Dodge and the Mopar world is wide open right now. They're doing really, really well. That's, I can't say that. I can't say that. Oh, yeah.
Hey, I, I know what to do, man. And you ain't even gotta be in Fayetteville. You ain't gotta be in North Carolina. You can be in Florida. You can be in Georgia. You can be in South Carolina. Anywhere you, I make it happen. I you know the vibe. Say mm. man, hey man. It's your man. <laughs> say man, hey man. <laughs> Hey man, say man. What is fifteen hundred? That's a um, mm -hmm. and an eco big horn. Nah, big horn. What's the e torque? The uh, auto start and stop system. So this is stuff that's not posted online. Yeah, this one just like I said, these just got here today. But this one, unfortunately, is a build. But you can take a look inside. I think it's locked. So got an eight point four inch screen. Got the tow group with it. Uh, it's got the USB port, so you already know Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff. Got the two Ram box, four by four off-road package. This, this, you know what? Mine got the Ram box. That, I can't even get them. No, I can get a regular four-wheeler, but I couldn't get the one with the bigger tires. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't go in there. I had to put it on the trailer. Oh, for the. Uh, I side thought. Side? No, I ain't lie. I thought this comes. This, I can take this off. Nice. This part of the truck. Yeah. I was looking for. Uh, I tried to put a drill in there and look for a hole to screw yeah. it off. Nah, this, this. That's on the. Yeah. What's the difference between? The GT and the regular uh, SXT, not SXT. The uh, what you say it was? Who's up front? You use a different name, different terminology. GT RT? Yeah, RT. So a GT is a V6. Um, so first and foremost, what they did is they changed it around after 2019. They gave it. They gave all the. All the bodies, except the SXTs, like an upgraded body style. So you see it's got the, the better wing. So basically they all look like scat mask kind of. Um, so it's got the little brake, um, the brake stuff. What is this? Basically it cools the brakes off, but it's like the different body style for the, for the V6s. Um, and then the biggest difference for V6 from the GT to RT is V6 and V8. Um, and then of course you get different packages. Um, so you can get the V6 with a plus group, um, and that plus group includes the heated seats, um, vented seats, and a sunroof. You can do that, and then the plus group for RT, you can get the heated seats, the vented seats, the heated seats in the back seat, uh -huh. and the sunroof. And it's got a bigger screen. Yeah, it's got a bigger screen. Mm -hmm. But mostly, they mostly just change the body style. Right, like so, can you get an all-wheel drive? So, in 2022, they actually opened that option up for that you can build a, a GT charger for all-wheel drive. Yeah. This is the only scat pack back here? Nah, it's this one and the uh, Challenger back there. So and when would these go up on the website? These would go up probably either at a, before the end of the day or tomorrow. They're going to be up there tomorrow. They're the so, it'd be up whenever this go up. Yeah. Oh, huh, you say what? <laughs> he said fusion K. He, he took off. <laughs> this is the same thing as that one, right? Yeah, I think I think the customer bought two because the names match. But one has the 8.4 screen, another one has the 12 screen. 2500. That's what I want. You gonna get a limited? What you gonna get? If you build it, you know how you know to come. I heard Slav trying to get a truck, so. But I really want a high country. Yeah. So Hey, can't. what y'all think? Should she get a high country or a Ram twenty five hundred? I say Ram twenty five hundred. I'm a little biased.